Well, let's take a look at this energy budget in a little more detail. When we account for the curvature of the Earth, we get 340 watts per meter squared that is coming down from the sun. We know that before any of that energy is actually absorbed by material in the Earth system, a large fraction of it is reflected back to space. In fact, 100 watts per meter squared. And note that 100 watts per meter squared is approximately 29% of 340. This is our planetary albedo. Now of that radiation that is reflected back to space, 75 watts per meter squared are reflected by clouds, and 25 watts per meter squared are reflected by the Earth's surface. Now if you do 340 minus 100, that gives us 240 watts per meter squared. That's the amount of energy from the sun that must be absorbed by components in the Earth system. 80 watts per meter squared are absorbed directly in the atmosphere, and 160 watts per meter squared are absorbed by the surface. So now we know that we have 240 watts per meter squared of energy that is absorbed by the Earth system. Where does that energy go? Well, we can look at the surface energy budget. So remember, in accordance with Stefan Boltzmann law, anything that has a non-zero temperature, thankfully, everything on Earth, is emitting some form of long-wave radiation. So the Earth is constantly emitting radiation in the form of things like thermals. This is kind of sensible heat, heat that is directly being transmitted to the atmosphere. We also have evapotranspiration, so heat that is associated with things like the phase changes of water. We'll talk a little bit more about this. But the vast majority of energy that is emitted from the surface is long-wave infrared energy that is emitted, again, in accordance with Stefan Boltzmann law. Of that 396 watts per meter squared, 20 of it goes to space, but 376 watts per meter squared are actually absorbed in the atmosphere. And that atmosphere is allowed to then emit radiation both upward and downward. And in fact, this back radiation back to the surface that the atmosphere is constantly emitting, again, because it is a non-zero temperature, is what leads to the greenhouse effect that we discussed that keeps our planet at a warmer temperature than we would expect just based on the total amount of solar energy in and the amount of energy out. Now the atmosphere itself at the end of the day is going to emit 219 watts per meter squared. And so when you combine 219 plus the 20 watts per meter squared that are emitted directly from the surface to space, you get a total outgoing long wave radiation at the top of the atmosphere of 239 watts per meter squared. And this is almost exactly the same as the 240 watts per meter squared that we're bringing in. And so why is it off by this small amount? Well, there's this one little arrow, what we're gonna talk about later in the semester, with regard to additional energy that is trapped or put into the system. But otherwise, you've now been able to account for where energy is moving within the Earth system and how to balance the amount of energy coming in from the sun and the amount of energy that the Earth is getting giving off in terms of its long wave radiation.